What is going on guys? So we are back with day two of working on the Marauder Coyote Swap Gen 3 with a 10 speed. Yesterday we got a lot done. We got the old drivetrain pulled out. We got the new engine, uh, test mock-up engine. Uh, we've got it tested, mocked up. I gotta finish some cutting on the K-member. Some of you guys mentioned that Moroso makes a Fox body pan that actually fits better in here, but I've never really been a huge fan of those and we have already started cutting. So um, I did see that in some of my research, there's been a few Coyote Swap Marauders, not a ton. One of the things was the Moroso pan, for one, this is a Gen 3, so it has the different pickup, but we could convert the oil pump housing over. But the other thing is the Moroso pan gets in the way of the motor mounts from the Marauder, which makes that kind of complicated. So we're gonna continue. We only have to clear just a little bit more of this, and then the engine's gonna sit down. And based off of everything we've seen so far, it looks like our manifolds are gonna fit, our exhaust is gonna fit. So there are a lot of things that have gotta fit. We'll have to also look at our oil filter housing on the Gen 3, make sure that fits. I also have to do oil pump gear, crank gear, and oil pan swap on that one too. Kind of forgot about that but we gotta do that before we can swing it in here because we're not doing it in car. All right, so there's our finished clearancing. Definitely a good size hole there, uh, you know, but I do think there's a lot of structure still here. It's aluminum anyways. So we'll see how that goes. Like I said, you could always invert the part that got cut out, weld it in there as kind of a brace, but let's just go see if this thing fits. Unfortunately, it appears we still need to get an oil pan. Um, over here, it's touching just slightly. You can see just the barely the gap. It's really, really close. The engine would be sitting though a little bit more forward. And that's when you see it start to lift off the motor mount there. So we're gonna get this Moroso pan that has kind of a 90 there. It still uses the stock pickup tube. So we just order that, probably be here next week. So. We'll pick up with the next clip when that comes in. Um, either that or we'll prep the engine over here. Um, but we can't really prep that engine because we probably want to test fit the Morosa pan on this one because this one's much easier to get in and out. All right, Marauder moved outside. Now Marauder number two, we can actually put full exhaust on it now. So let's go pull this inside and we're gonna get the stock exhaust welded on and then we should have a quiet marauder because uh, this thing ain't quiet right now. Marauder number two. I did put dump mufflers on it. Let's go bring this thing inside. All right, so the current exhaust we're working with. This exhaust has been through a few different cars. It's a quick bolt-on job, but should be able to get the stock style connect adapters on the stainless works headers, and then we can get the whole stock exhaust on it. Kind of sounds lame, but I feel like these cars shouldn't be extremely loud. And even with these headers, it should still sound pretty decent. So yeah, let's go get into it. All right, so we got the exhaust all connected, except the tailpipe section right here. Uh, we're gonna weld those back on. Those had to be cut to basically get them off the other car because uh, the way the solid axle here, otherwise we'd have to like pull the axle out, which I'm not gonna do. So we're just gonna weld those back on and should be good to go.
Well, check it out, guys. Marauder number two, driving down the road, and it's quiet. This is exactly what I wanted. Now, interesting, I don't know what's going on with the cluster with this car. So, obviously, this so this car has a fuel cell, so level sender doesn't work, but it's got a battery light. I'm not gonna say the battery voltage is amazing, but, you know, that thing says we're overheating. But if you look down here, we got a 192 coolant temp that is, is moving. So I don't know why the coolant temp gauge isn't right, but I, I believe the car is at 190. It seems at 188, that seems to be responding, you know, well. So it's not fast, but it's not the slowest thing. It's not bad. I uh, threw a new tune in it, a new O2 sensor, new tune. I added a transport delay for the stainless works headers and it seems to have responded pretty well with that. I only added about three degrees total. So it's probably still pretty soft tune up wise, but it does seem to run pretty dang good. This thing really needs some AC. So we don't have any AC stuff hooked up. So, oh wow, it's so quiet, it's pretty sweet. All right, I love the quietness. Okay, I mean, I can tell you it's faster than a Crown Vic, like a two valve Crown Vic for sure. So it's it's running pretty decent. I mean, I'd be pretty happy with that. I really think the 4R70 is a really not great transmission. It's not very fun because um, it doesn't really give you much you know, it's not, it's not a lot, but running really good. It sounds a million times better, honestly. So we need to get this thing cleaned up and on some Marauder wheels because these black S550 wheels aren't really the, the thing, but we're looking great tune-up wise. So aspect of this thing doesn't sound like the craziest car but you know it does have long tube headers and it sounds pretty dang quiet so that's cool so i don't quite have a plan for this marauder but since i've got it it's been on these s550 black wheels and it's just not the look for a marauder so we're gonna go get the stock wheels thrown on it and see what it looks like in a sec So much better. It looks like a Marauder now. These nice clean, the minty. Well, that is a clean marauder. I do need to get a, a new rubber uh, thing for the hanger, but we'll get that. I don't even know what we're doing with this car, but check it out. Marauder number two, looking like a marauder. It's got the right wheels on it. We got the chrome. The car really just needs to be cleaned up, but man. It's cool though, it runs good, it's not super loud. That's sweet. I'm gonna back it up next to the other one. 
snap a picture. All right, well, you can see Marauder number two, Marauder number one. So this one has the test coyote in it. As you can see, a little mock-up coyote in there. So this one's obviously down for construction for a little bit. But then we got the up and running four valve marauder now the unfortunate thing is i need to take that bumper off and put on this one and then that one won't look good but uh you know i do find that so this one does run and dry but this one is quite a bit cleaner i will say the paint's very dirty on both of them right now but everything in here including all the ac stuff was still in here so this one's going to be much easier to get the ac working that one's missing a bunch of AC components and the blower motor is not working. So that's a little concerning. It looks so much better on the Marauder wheels. The other wheels just kind of make it look like a Crown Vic. So now that we got Marauder wheels on it, looking pretty decent. Of course, the iconic uh, tailpipes that I was talking about. This one is hanging a little low, but you know, we'll, we'll get her dialed in. Now this one has air suspension delete. This one does still have air suspension and does work. It does sag if it sits for long periods of time, like a year that this one has been sitting. But if you hook power up to this thing, it actually airs right up and uh, it goes, it works. So this one obviously had the air suspension delete at some point, so this one sits pretty high in comparison. Overall though, this one's fairly clean. I just think, uh, I think this one's the one to build, you know? So I don't know what exactly we'll do with this one. Really dreading the day taking the bumper off of it because I think I can fix this bumper, but you know, it'd be cool to have both of them looking, looking decent. Oh, well, that's it right there. All right guys, well, unfortunately we actually didn't get into much of the coyote swap today. We found out we needed the oil pan. We got it on the way. I think I'm just gonna upload this video today and give you Marauder number two content. And if you guys do need any uh, random Marauder parts, like the lower intake and stuff like that, I, I do have some parts that we're obviously not using on the Coyote Swap Marauder. The other Marauder is B-head, so I really don't need them as spares. And we're gonna have to tear down this thing. I'm pretty sure this is a good trans. So if any of you guys needed a trans for a Marauder, I got one right there. Obviously we know this engine's pretty torn up, but the car itself had really low miles. I'm really excited. It's really cool to see both Marauders here. If you guys don't know, I don't know. I've always wanted a Marauder. I've loved Crown Vicks for a long time. That's kind of like, that's like having the GT500 of the Marauder. Kind of a weird, you know, thing to say, but that that's what it is. I mean, it's the four valve. It's the Cobra motor marauder the interior is really nice a really smooth riding uh car especially with air suspension to build one of those with a coyote and have it be like perfect and it may make 900 horsepower so it's gonna be so cool so i'm really excited for the coyote soft one like i said i don't really know what we're doing with the four valve one i'm working on getting the title if i can get the title then we can probably get some motivation and you know fully fix the ac and everything what happened with the title is basically there was a lien release that was never filed there's no money owed on it but basically a paperwork complication so i'm working on working that through and you might be saying well why are you fixing a car with title issues well one i have the problems in the head uh, but also giving you guys some content you know since we had the exhaust off of the other marauder and we're not going to be using that two and a quarter inch exhaust that's why we put it on the other one so at least if i'm moving around here it's nice and quiet you could actually drive that you know not legally but you know you know how it goes anyway guys i hope you're enjoying the marauder series of course we're going to be back with more you know content on literally everything i got boxes here uh there's stuff going on you guys know i'm always floating things in the background but working on one thing i also have parts and everything else working on other things i got a fuel pump that just came for this i got a a boosty kit for that we got a cooling mods for the terminator i mean there's so many things going on uh in the background and then of course also helping out customers and working on customer cars and tuning so if you guys like the video hit the like button leave a comment down below and we'll see you guys in the next one